Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Wizzy here and I'm back again with another video for you. Hey, check this out, man. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I just made 2,000 US dollars from $300 simply by using this strategy right here. A very simple strategy. And guess what I'm going to do in this video? I'm just going to teach you guys how you can also make money using this strategy. Simple, right? Very simple. Only if you follow the rules, only if you understand what I'm going to teach you, what I'm, what I'm going to explain in this, in this video, right? So as you can see, this is the strategy right here. It's a very simple strategy, right? So I'm going to explain to you guys how you can make money using this strategy right here. Very, very simple. So without further ado, hey, hello. For those who are asking me, guys, which broker do I use? Which broker do I recommend? I will, leave the, I will leave the link down below in the description. So make sure you go crazy, open a real account with that broker and start making money. So in, in opening, uh, so if you want to open an account with that broker, make sure that you choose a standard type of account, right? And the leverage, make sure you choose one ratio 500. That's the, the leverage I recommend. And another thing is um, if you're going to use MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, make sure that you use Android and Android because Apple is no longer, uh, is no longer having uh, these two apps on the App Store. So right now, everyone is using Android, right? So you can also use it on a computer though. You, for those who like to trade on a computer, to open a trade on a computer, you can use computer to trade. But Apple... Anything like this? Where is it? Anything like Apple is no longer having, the, uh, but it's not an issue though. So without further ado, guys, let's get it started. So first thing first, you're going to see the screen here. I'm going to show you here how to put this strategy on a chart, right? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to be deleting all these things, all these, um, all this strategy, all these indicators on a chart and then we're gonna start by putting it step, step by step. And then I'm gonna explain to you guys how, you, how to grab money in a forex trading just using this as simple strategy, so hollow. So now we get, let's start by removing all this. I'm gonna just gonna press it if you don't know how to use the, um, I'm gonna press delete icon to delete all these indicators so that we can start from the scratch. I'm just gonna check all of them. After checking, I'm just going to delete and boom, the chart now is empty, no indicator, nothing, no indicator or nothing. So let's start by putting this, uh, this strategy on the chart, right? And uh, so we're going to start by pressing F sign, this F sign right there. And then what we're going to start with, we're going to start by pushing EMA. We're going to start by three moving average, which is going to be on it on a chart, right? On up chart. All right, let's start by moving average. Press moving average, this is the moving average right here. So you're gonna see it on your, on your phone too. So here, you're gonna find too many numbers, but make sure the first moving average is gonna be period five. Period five. Shift will be zero here. Shift will be zero and method Method makes sure it's exponential. You might find a uh, smooth to simple, but make sure it's exponential because we're gonna kill this market using exponential moving average. We don't use any, anything else. So when you're done, just make sure that you check the color. Yeah? Just put any color that you want, any color that you want. I'm just gonna leave it blue. And when I'm done, I'm simply going to press done, right? So now you see how to put moving average. Boom, done. Now you can see we have a moving average on a chart. Mm -hmm. You see the first moving average on the chart. And then we, let's put the second moving average. We're gonna press at F plus sign. Boom, and the second moving average, uh, the second moving average will be moving average 13. Just keep following what I'm doing. 13. Uh, exponential, just ch change the color, only the color, only the color. I'm, go I'm just going to give it this color right here. When I'm done, I press done. And as you can see, we have two moving average on the chart. All right, so 
let's put the 31, right? The 31, they just press the F plus sign, and I'm going to press here. And I'll go to moving average. And the 31 here will be um, 50. Moving average 50. And now the color, make sure you change the color because that's what we're doing, man. Change the color. And uh, when I change the color, just give any color that you want. But I'm just going to give it to something like black. When I'm done, press done. So now we have three moving average on the screen right now. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and put RSI. So this is very important, guys. So make sure RSI, you put the exact same thing that I'm going to put in this. Right. So let's press here. And then we're going to go plus sign again and uh, add RSI, which is a relative strength index. So now here we go on RSI, right? Because I had this, uh, this, this, uh, I had this, this, this strategy on my phone. So everything will be just here. So for you, make sure that the period you make period one, you put period one, apply, make sure it's closed. And a pixel here, three pixel. I like to use three pixel because I like it to see it in the, a big, a big thing. So now here, most importantly, here at the levels, make sure that the levels is 95, 94, 93, 70, 55, 54, 53, 10, 3, 10, 5, and 3. As you can see here, just put the exact same thing. And to add those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, Levels, you're just gonna press at uh, this uh, this this pen right here. Press the pen, and then you're gonna see and everything. So once you put uh, level 95, make sure that the uh, you put you you put the description here overboard, right? So 70 will be strong cell, 55 will be TP1, and uh, 10 will be strong buy. And three will be oversold, right? So make sure you do that. Make sure you add a description. To add a description, you just you're gonna just gonna type. As you can see, TP1. You can type anything, but just make sure that you type what you can see on the screen, right? And once you're done, when you're done, you're just gonna go back, and then you're gonna press done. Simple like that. Press done. Once you press down, as you can see, guys, we already have RSI set up. This is RSI right here. And those levels, you can see here, we have over, uh, strong sell, strong buy, oversold, TP1, right? So we have everything set up, right? So now let's add moving averages on RSI, which is going to give us, an, uh, which is gonna give us uh, the confirmation, right? So let's go crazy. Um, Plus sign. So now here, make sure that you put you add on a second window, on a window, an indicator window one, right? This is the main chart right here. So because we are putting the the uh, this moving average on RSI, so we are going to add on a on a window one, which is the RSI window. So press that. Go to moving average. So here, make sure that um, the first moving average will be five again. Five. The only thing you're gonna change here is only color. Don't change nothing else. Just change the color. When you're done, press done. Now, as you can see on the RSI, we have the first moving average. So let's let, let's do that quick. So the second moving average. Let's add another moving average, which is gonna be uh, moving average eight. And make sure you change the color right here. I'm just gonna give it this color. Press done. Now we have to, let's add another one. Moving average. This one here is gonna be moving average uh, 13. Change the color and press down. Uh, let's add another moving average. Here we choose moving average. This time it's gonna be 21. Change the color real quick. Make sure that you keep changing colors. 
All right, let's add the, the last moving average, which is 200 moving average. The last one, y'all. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and I want to explain to you guys how you're going to grab money, how you're going to get money using this strategy. So just make sure you change the color too. Don't forget it. Don't forget to change the color. So I'm just going to give it to green because I didn't put green. So now we have a full strategy set up on the chart. As you can see, it's looking beautiful, right? But that's not a, that's not a matter. What I'm going to explain to you, that's what matter. So make sure that you follow me, understand how to trade using this strategy. So first thing first, this strategy works on a major pairs. Only on a major pairs. If you don't know what is major pairs, major pair, major pairs are the pairs which has a sm uh, small spread like GBP, USD, USD, JPY. Those are the pairs that you are going to apply on this, on this, on this on this strategy right and this is strategy here you can use it in on all time frame so it depends with uh, which type of trader are you so let's say if you're a day trader then you're gonna apply this on the 30 30 minute time frame or one hour but me i use it on one hour one hour time frame right so but if you're a scalper I never scalp with this strategy, just to be honest. I only swing and day trading with this with this strategy, right? So let me explain you what I do. Let me explain you what I do. So let's say when you switch on a five, uh, here's, you're gonna see the screen over here, right? So as you can see here, what I do is uh, you just gonna be waiting the market to come all the way up, all the way up. So if the market come, right? and reach these 93 levels and reach up on the top and the market started reversing, right? And the market started reversing. That simply means the market is over, over, overbought. So, and if the market is overbought, it's the time for us to start selling, right? It's simple like that. So once you sell this market, right? Once you sell this market, as you can see, when the market come down, I just wanna, I wanna show you. Mm. Yeah, so let me make this example right here. So once you sell this market here on overbought, and then you're gonna wait the market to come all the way down. If the market break this line, this is a vent line, and it retest it, you can see the retest on the chart when you are doing like on a computer, right? You can see that retest, and if the market retest and keep going down, that means the market will shoot very strong is going to go down very very strong so once the market go down your first tp will be at 53 levels so when the market hits 53 levels hey don't be too much greedy don't be too much greedy you can close oh what i do i usually shift my stop loss you know that's another strategy i usually uh shift my stop loss so if the stop loss was above i'm just gonna Close that profit, you know, just in case. I like money, you like money, so let's make sure that you, you look some profit so that even if the market goes up, you still have more. So that's it, that's it. And your first stock profit is at the 53 levels. And, um, and uh, yeah, so if the market now, if you want to buy, right? If you want to buy, if you want to buy, you're just going to be waiting the market to come all the way down. Once the market come all the way down and it hit these levels right here, this three level, three level, right? And because three level is oversold level. So if the market hit the three level and the market start going up, and the market start going up, and then you are going to open a buy position. And if you buy, you open a buy position, it's the same thing. So your first take profit will be at the 53 level again. So this 53 level is the first take profit in of both orders. It's either up, uh, sell market or buy market. So once you again, the market come here and uh, break this, this 53 level and keep going up, that means that market will go, will shoot all the way up. So make sure that you protect your account by putting those stop losses like, like we said, like we said. And um, yeah, so th that's how to trade using this strategy. So now we have other confirmations. We have plenty of confirmations. On, that's why I love 
this, this, this strategy because we have too many confirmations. So let's start by this one here. So as you can see, when the market is coming down, right, this line here, this green line, this, which is 200 moving average, this line will be up like that, will be just up. So if, the, if it's time for you to buy, you are going to see that this, uh, uh, when it's time to buy, right? When it's time to buy, let me, let me show you, let me show you, where were we? So yeah, when it's time to buy, right, this, the, all these moving average, they're going to cross this green line. And now this green line will be down. And that's when you are going to buy. It's another confirmation. And we have another confirmation here on top. As you can see, those three moving average that we put, right? As you can see, this, this moving average, we have this black moving average, right? This moving average, which is a 50 moving average. This moving average, if the market is going up, the 50 moving average will always be down, down below. So, and this two moving average will be on the top. So once you see this two moving average cross, uh, cross over this uh, 200, cross over 50 moving average, which is this black one here, that means it's another confirmation for you to sell. You see? So we have a plenty of confirmation trading this strategy. And if you do that, you are going to make money simply by using this strategy. Simply by using the strategy. So another thing, y'all, um, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. So make sure that you take this strategy right here and practice it on your demo account. Before you use it on your real account, make sure that you practice on a demo account because uh, practicing on a demo account is, is good because you're gonna gain more experience with that strategy. So you will understand you will understand how does that strategy work so instead of just getting a strategy today and you just take the strategy and start putting it on your real account. You know, if you do that then I don't know. I don't know, you know. Uh, but what I recommend you guys is just take the strategy, practice on your demo account first. Practice the strategy on a demo account. That's smart move. It's a smart way for you to to uh, to to consider a strategy as something that you can rely on only to practice. You can practice for practice for a month so that you understand this is strategy. This is how it works. You know. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I know now everyone understands how to trade, um, how to, you can make money using this strategy, and that's all, man. That's all I have for you today, so. If you like this video, consider to subscribe to your boy YouTube channel, man. Let's go up. Let's go up. Now we start this kind of videos, man, and let me know what kind of video you want me to do next, because I'm about to go on a chart right now. You know me? I'm a day trader, and I like to use a trend line strategy too much than any other strategy. So we are about to go crazy on a chart. That's what I'm, I just want to start doing right now because I'm going to be waking up early in the morning when I do my analysis. When I take a trade, I'm going to be showing you guys. That I think that's the best way uh, for you guys to grow, like, you know, to grow. To grow. Every morning, I'm just going to be showing you guys how I take the trade and, you know, when you're in a profit because we are killing the VIP group as well. So if you are not in a VIP group, you are missing out a lot. Click the link down below. Ha. That's where everything is down below in, in the description. In the description, there is uh, the link for the broker I use, the link for VIP group, the link for free Telegram group. So everything is free, like everything is free. So go crazy in the description and the comment though. Which type of video you want to see next? Hey, let me wrap it up. Let me wrap up this video and I will hope to see you again on the next, on the next video.